What's going on, everybody? I had to cut the other video. Um, somebody was out there cutting their grass, and I got hit with the wind, and I've been uh, sneezing. So let's see if I can make it through it this time. GMG results. This was two different orders plus a couple cards that uh, had some error on to it that I needed to get fixed. So some of the stuff you might have seen before. Up first, Jacob Easton. This is a die cut from Crown Royal rookie card. Came back in 8-5. Uh, surface was the one that hit me the hardest on this, being an 8. Another 8-5. I knew this was going to come back low. Zach Thomas. This is autographed, four, and it's 4 out of 4. Only reason I wanted to get a slab, just in case somebody, you know, is a huge Dolphins fan out there. It's slab. It's got a grade on to it, and it is 4 out of 4. So, uh, this stuff should be in the store. I can't remember if I said it or not this time in the video. Uh, by the time this video comes out. Stained glass Zeke. I knew the centering on this was going to be the pretty much the killer onto it. I guess there was some surface too. I really didn't look these over too much onto it. Oh no, the surface was good onto it, just the corners and edges. But I knew centering was way off onto it. Pretty cool card though. Again, it'll be in the store. Legacy. It was a letdown, man, with the conditions of this stuff this year, big time. But Trevor Lawrence, rookie, another one came back a nine. It'll be in the store. This here had to get redone because by accident they put the same label on two different ones. But this season got a 9.5 from Absolute. All right. I think that I was going to sneeze. This here came out of uh, Legacy. was probably the best grade of it all, to be honest. Well, maybe the next one, too. But Josh Allen, under the lights. This was numbered out of 10. Out of 10. So it did come back at 9.5, 10 on edges, 10 on surface, 9.5 centering, 9.5 corners. So a pretty good card. I'll put it in the store. I don't know the price on to it yet, but it'll probably be, I don't know, probably like 40 bucks or something like that. I don't know. I got to see if any of these have sold and where they've been at. Might be more, might be less, but pretty cool card there. This here, I just really I wanted to see how this would work out. And this was the mini cards that were in Legacy. This is Khalil Mack. Came back a 9.5 on to it. They're pretty good with the bordering on to this, being cut out to be in place of the card into it. I kind of like this. Um, this was out of 25, 21 out of 25. So pretty cool overall. You can tell that they hand cut all this stuff up in through here and stuff onto it. This here, guy had to get recased. It came cracked. Eric was gracious enough to recase it for us. So this will be part of it. Actually, I'm going to put this in with the other giveaway for the week. So if you guys haven't seen the other video, it'll be three cards, winner takes all. LeBron, Rookie, Tatis, and uh, Dvorak, Hockey, Young Gun. I'm going to put that here just so I remember. Up next, Adley Rushman. This is a uh, draft sapphire. Um, they forgot to put the sapphire up here, so I asked if he could redo it for me, and he did. Kind of like the background with it. Kind of like a little bit of a sapphire splash look onto it, but it was a... 10 on to it, which is pretty good if he ever gets caught up and does some damage. Something to hold on to. Eason almost went the whole way around with straight 10s. Absolute rookie. Like I said, I'm high on Eason just because he's close to I'm close to Indianapolis, too. Then, Gilbert Sanchez. This is out of 125. 10 to cross the board. Perfect condition. Probably something I hold on to. I mean, it's not a whole lot really invested into the card and everything on to it, but I do like the background onto this, and this came out of draft. So, really cool card. But yeah, 10's all around. I really thought they were going to get me in the back with the centering, to be honest. Kind of surprising, though. But, that was a real quick video onto it. The only four, like I said, I'm going to hold on to, the Yolbert, um, the two Easons, and the Rushman for right now. The rest of these will be in the store. They should already be in the store by the time the video comes out, in case anybody's interested in this stuff. But other than that, everybody, appreciate it. I will catch you all next video. Take care.